Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. This is the second part of the features I wish I knew before in Zoho Analytics. If you haven't checked out our first video that we made about it, the link will be in the corner and down below in the description box. Make sure to check it out. Before we begin this video, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the notification button so you don't miss any useful information that we share here. And now let's get on into the video. So the first feature is split axis or merge axis. In the Zoho Analytics, when you create a line, scatter, bar, and combination chart with multiple Y axis, by default, each Y column will be plotted in its own axis. However, you can choose to combine or merge them so that all of the Y columns will be plotted against a single combined Y axis scale. To merge split axis, click Merge Axis button on the toolbar. Zoho Analytics provides this as a toggle option to quickly switch between split and merge axis modes. The next feature is displaying aggregate data as a row in Pivot View. So Zoho Analytics allows you to add aggregate data either as rows or columns. This opens the possibility to lay out the Pivot in two different formats and to get a clear presentation of your data. The Data as Row option will be available when multiple columns are added to the data shelf. Selecting the Data as a Row option will unpivot or transform all of the columns as rows under a single data column. The next useful feature is week and year format. So you can change the week and year format in your workspace. To change the week and year format, open the workspace settings page, select the general tab. You can locate the week and year format drop down menu under the week settings selection. You can also select between these available formats, short, medium, long, start date and the end date of the week. Any format change made at the workspace settings page is applied across all of the reports of the workspace. You can also change the week and year format at the report level. Moving on to the next very useful feature, which is a combination chart. So the combination chart is a combination of two or more types of charts. So you can combine bar, line, area, bubble, and scattered in this feature will be very useful when you have a mixed type of data to represent. So the following combination of column types allows you to create a combination chart. You can choose the chart type from the combination tab of the chart setting page. So let's select the combo chart type. There are some options that you can choose from. The bar with a line, bar with bubble, bar with scattered, bar with area, area with bubble, or line with bubble. There is also an option of custom combination. This allows selecting custom combination using any of the five chart types. So in the series, you can select the chart type for each data series and select the style of the chart. The next feature is merging user filters. So the dashboards have reports from different tables, and these tables may have columns of the same type and records like regions, amounts, or product categories. Applying multiple filters of the same type will not be user-friendly as it could be difficult to find which filters applies to which table. So Analytics allows you to merge the filters, so you can merge user filters by simple drag and drop on top of the other. You can modify the merged column mapping by following the steps. Clicking the edit icon for the merged filter, then choosing the component for user filter The next feature that I want to talk about is behavior when user filters are applied. This option allows you to choose whether or not to cascade user filters. Values available for the options are the next. Always list all values. You can use this option to disable cascading of user filters and lists all the values in the drop down. The next option is list only relevant values with show all option. This option sets up cascading user filters but lists every value in subsequent user filter regardless of the present. And the last option is list only relevant values. You can use this option to set up cascading user filters and the list of values available in one user filter depends on the value that you have chosen in the presending user filter or filters. For example, let's say you have one user filter to filter product category and the second filter to filter products in report. When this option is selected while creating user filter, if you select furniture in the product category filter, only the products which comes under the category of furniture will be listed in the drop-down list of the products filter instead of listing all of the products. 
Moving on to the next very useful feature, which is apply dynamic filters while generating a URL for a view. By applying dynamic filters over embedded views, you can embed the same URL across several web pages by applying different filter criteria each time to suit the allowed permissions and profile of user accessing the URL. So for example, when you use the criteria journals region equals west, the person accessing the chart will see only data for the sales in the western region. This feature is very useful if you're sharing your reports with somebody. Also, you can select the mass criteria in the URL checkbox. This hides the ZOO criteria parameter from the embedded URL. And this will ensure the specified filter criteria is appended to the URL but is not displayed and the viewer will not see it. Now let's move on to the next feature, which is displaying images. So Analytics provides support to display images where URLs pointing to the images are stored in the table. To do it, follow the next steps. Click Format column from the drop-down menu. Then in the Format column dialog, select the image from the Display Ads drop-down menu. The last step is to specify the dimensions in the Image Dimension drop-down menu. Note that the size of the image should not exceed 200 kilobytes. Also, you can display images on a tabular, summary, pivot, and the chart view. The next feature is spark lines in pivot tables. So spark lines are compact charts that show the trends and variations in the data without taking up much space. They are widely used alongside pivot tables and help grasp trends and insights quickly. Zoho Analytics supports three types of sparkline charts, line, bar, and area. To create one, click the sparkline option on the toolbar that is above the designer shelf, and then choose any of the below options from the dropdown. First one is only data. This is a default case where only the data is generated according to the columns dropped in the designer shelf. The next option is only sparkline. The data trends of the selected columns alone are shown in the report. And the last option is sparkline with data, the data trend and the data are also shown in the report. And then generate the pivot table. You can also customize the sparkline chart by accessing the settings tab on the top right corner, selecting the format tab in the sparkline selection, choosing the sparkline type, and then you can choose different sparkline types for each column. You can also choose the preferred sparkline color and then click apply. And the last feature that I want to talk about in this video is sunburst chart. So the sunburst chart represents hierarchical data through a series of rings or concentric circles. Each ring corresponds to a level in the hierarchy. The central or innermost circle represents the root node or the top level category. Moving outwards, each subsequent ring represents a subcategory where the outermost ring is the leaf node. The size of each arc in the ring is proportional to the value of the data. This makes it easy to compare the relative proportions of different segments within the hierarchy. So to create a sunburst chart, columns should be added in the specific order. So the color shelf, the topmost category in the data should be added to this shelf. The x-axis, the second level category, should be added to this shelf. And y-axis will be a measure column. So these are top 10 features that we wish we knew before in Zoho Analytics. If you want a custom report from our analytics team, make sure to book a free consultation with one of our experts by the link down below in the description box and we can make a custom report for you. Thank you for watching. Make sure to check out our Zoho Analytics tutorials and also to subscribe to our channel not to miss any useful information that we share every week on this channel.